Hey guys, Ben here, and welcome back to another video on the DCTV crossover. So today we're going to be breaking down some new photos and also the news about who one of the main villains of the crossover is. So if you do go on to enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DCTV videos later this year. Also share this video around, it would mean so much to me. Obviously we're just getting back into things, I know not a lot of people actually do stick around over the summer because the shows aren't on i understand that but now we're getting back let everyone know that we're back making these videos today we're going to be breaking down the set photos that were released prior to my last video i felt like with them shooting every day in public and them bringing in new scenes you know shooting different things that haven't been done before i feel like it's my duty to update you guys and we found out who the main villain that i mentioned yesterday actually is and so the main villain of the crossover or at least part of the crossover we don't know if he's going to be the villain for the entire crossover but that is in fact Amazo, and that is the guy in the CGI sort of mocap suit that is going to be used for reference when they do the CGI and this character Amazo, you may know from the animated series or you may know from the comics obviously but I recommend you go watch the animated series if you want a quick update rather than having to buy loads of comic books and stuff like that. So essentially who Amazo is, he was created by Professor Ivo who is an evil scientist basically and he is an android and that is really all you need to know and he can replicate the superpowers of any metahuman he encounters so therefore he is a very very big and dangerous villain if they're going to follow the comics due to the fact that he can take away their powers and that's probably why they are struggling to actually take him down in some of these photos but yeah so that's who the villain is you know it's a really cool villain i'm looking forward to that quite a lot and let's break down some of these extra photos so i'm going to include as many as i can in this video but also, I'll leave some links in the description below to some other ones that I'm going to be referencing that perhaps I'm not going to put in the video. But the first photo I want to talk about is another one of Grant Gustin in the Green Arrow suit. I'm just so intrigued by these switches that they've been doing and I'm just so ready for this. Also, you can see Chris Wood is right there on the set of Elseworlds and at first I was like, yes, one hour's back. But he's actually only there to visit, which is a shame, but it's awesome to see him around, you know, visiting Tyler and visiting Grant, visiting Steven, and also Melissa. So, those are the people that were shooting on the day, as well as the villain of the crossover. And so we get various photos of Melissa's stunt double, actually with Steven and Mel, and with Tyler as they do a stunt scene. And Melissa's seen later, she's popping in and out, with her stunt double actually taking over for various points during the fights. Yeah, there's just some nice photos of Grant in the Green Arrow costume and Steven in the Flash costume and according to Canada Graphs on his blog which you can check out in the description below apparently in that scene where Amazo is fighting all of our heroes he is actually down on our level so he's not as tall because you can see in the link in the description below in some of the photos from Hollywood Pipeline he's actually on stilts so he's double the size of Stephen Amell and this probably is just for reference in that he's probably going to be bigger at some point and then he's going to be smaller at other points due to him absorbing powers and things like that most likely he's going to change his appearance a little bit and so apparently he was fighting down on their level about the scene that I broke down yesterday and so there were various stunt scenes with Green Arrow that being Grant Gustin and his stunt double, also The Flash and Stephen Amell. He does a few scenes where he's running away and Melissa lands on the ground. So, you know, just the average thing for our heroes when they enter the scene. And yeah, there was a lot of stunt work yesterday because there was that big fight. And so also on Hollywood Pipeline, they were able to take a load of photos. We have some really nice ones of Melissa and some really nice ones of all the different scenes of like Steven taking his flash suit helmet off and various things along those lines and that is about it for this video guys thank you guys so much for watching to access and look at all of these photos that I've been referencing even though I didn't include all of them all you need to do is go to the description down below and go look at the Twitters and also go look at the websites as you can find all the new information that you need to know so anyway guys thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later goodbye strong it doesn't make us weak tongue tied to service like shark creep